I would like to explain you what really has changed in this car because there was a massive change and it's quite hard to spot all the parts which really have got an improvement. This car is not just a normal improvement, it's just a big improvement. This time we managed to change not only the front and the rear but we have a completely new body side and I would like to go a little more in detail with that. So what happened was we needed to introduce the A4 into the new Audi design era and therefore we wanted to adapt the single frame to what is happening now. This means the single frame is now lower but as well wider. This means the car looks a lot sportier and it gets a lot more prestige because the A4 it's actually a very grown-up car and it needed to show everything what it can. As well as the single frame, the lamps has changed. We want the, the lamps to look like the eyes of somebody and when you look somebody in the eyes and you see that something has changed, you know that there is something new in there. Therefore, we have a very simple outline now and everything is happening inside. We have the segments uh, running through there like we learned from the A8 and the A7 and the A6 and we want the B segment limousine to show exactly the same kind of level. Therefore, we decided to adapt a lot as well on the bumpers. Every car is getting a different design. So the base model, the S line, the S4 and the uh, A4 all road, they all get a very different character. Each of them is gonna be adapted to different customers, to different kind of needs and therefore a different face. The same uh, was very important to bring this kind of sportiness into the body side. This means we wanted to use what we started with the Prolog concept car, we want to have this on the A4 as well. Therefore, we have now the Quattro blister sitting nice on top of the wheel and the shoulder line is now sitting in between the wheels, a little bit lower and this makes the car a lot more voluminous and it sits better on the road and it looks a little more mature. As well, on the rear end, we wanted the car to look more mature. This was really the impact what we wanted. And as we are doing on the top limousines, like the A8 and on the A6, we decided to adapt a chrome line, which is crossing between the, the rear lamps all the way through. And this is giving a lot of witness. The car, the width of the car, it's, the impression is a lot bigger somehow. And the same, we adapted this kind of sporty design to the lower part. As I said, for the front, the base, the S line, S4, and the all road, they always get a different kind of attitude and each of them will give you a different diffuser, a different kind of uh, exhaust treatment but always looking very sporty.